and up the giant staircase once again. So yeah, while it's on my mind, may as well use this. And we have more Scuttle Omegas. Let's see here. Let's just get rid of the auras real quick. Pin you at the top. Let's see here. That should do the trick. Gonna get out of the way just in case that laser hits. Wasn't sure how much invisibility I had left. Now we have Alpha Bug Omegas. Oh dear. That's a bit more problematic. As is this team up. Oh dear. Okay, not even taking the chance. Yeah, alpha bugs, they're just a thing. So spastic and unpredictable. Not really something I want to have to deal with if I can help it. Let's just get rid of that aura, shall we? And thus it's time for Serenade Omega. So, let's see here. giving me the last of those area steals that I need. And that concerns me. Pin you back as much as I can, but I'm gonna have to make it a point to stay on these panels over here. Okay. May as well have that ready, just in case I can manage to get pre-power to strike if she uses that Giga attack of hers. Come on, you know you want to. Okay. Will this work? Really, that blocks it? Oh, that's annoying. I was not expecting that to get blocked. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's see here. Well, I'll have this at the ready if she uses the Giga attack again. Yeah, those satellite attacks can be really irritating if you're having to try and keep those panels as occupied. Yeah. Let's see if we can get something else ready in the meantime. There we go. Okay, so that didn't work out exactly as I had planned, but still, it's taken care of. And again, we get 10 grand in Zenny. And with that, we have defeated all the Omega Navis. And that means... Going back to look at our save file, all seven completion stars are now in place. The red one showing our victory over the Omega class Navis. And with that, the really, honest to god, I'm not kidding this time, final challenge is now unlocked. And...
And... yeah, we're not even gonna wait on this one. See you back at Wily's base. And so here we are once again in the final area. Yeah, nothing different about the cutscene, so we can just skip this. Time once again to fight base, but, uh... Yeah, let's be honest. After everything we've been through, normal base is not exactly threatening. <laughs> yeah. But now it's time for things to really get interesting. Well, other than this cutscene, which also hasn't changed. It's time for the true final challenge, Alpha Omega. It's Alpha, with a whopping 3,000 health. Yeah, once again I've put the cannon folder together, because, uh... Yeah, kinda need it here. Let's see... Yeah, the Var Swords are just gonna be in the way. I mainly had them around to deal with base. Uh... IJK... And we've got the first of our cannon advances ready to go. Now as you damage Alpha a bit more, his arms start to do different things. So we'll get to that when it occurs. Okay, get the next one of these ready to go. Because yeah, it's still just really a tedious fight. It's not all that interesting overall. Yeah, the arms have gone gold now. They can start doing different elemental type attacks. That's a bit worrisome. Let's see. Lead with you. Then you to get in some good hits. I just have to chop out the core again. Proto Man should hopefully be able to do that. There we go. I really need that last... There we go. P, Q, R. Okay. I don't think anything else in this fight has really changed beyond the strange elemental attacks from the Golden Arms, where they can crack panels. I've seen them make uh, ice panels before. Oh, you are annoying. By 10 health, really? I wonder how well this does against him. Let's find out, shall we? For a minute I wasn't sure if that was actually going to eat through. <laughs> okay, so yeah, those special alpha attacks can be really annoying to the cannon strategy. Good to see it does have its limitations. And with that, nothing else really has changed. The ending is still exactly the same. We get our reward later. So, yeah, since nothing else in the ending has changed, I think we can just skip this. Now, there actually was a special ending image that you got for having all the chips in the Japanese version, but for some strange reason it was removed in the English version, from what I read. Thanks to Sprites Incorporated, I do still have that image. Want to put that up on Still Store, Cambot? So, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's anything super amazing or anything like that, but, uh, it does beg the question, why did they bother to remove it? Now, after all this, there isn't actually any alert to the reward you've gotten. You don't get another completion star or anything like that. You just have to know to look in your chip pack. If you look over there... You've received a new chip. Alpha Arm Omega. Launches a giant rocket. Sounds like fun. So, let's go somewhere where we can demonstrate this thing. So, for all intents and purposes, Alpha Arm Omega is basically a glorified spreader. It has that same sort of range from wherever it strikes. If, on the other hand, it makes it all the way to the end of the field without hitting anything, which basically means the middle row has to be clear of enemies and obstacles, then it just strikes the back two columns and that's it. Now, one interesting thing to note here about the Alpha Arm chips is despite the fact that Alpha is not a Navi, he is powered up by Navi Plus chips, so that's kind of interesting to note. 
Also, there is something interesting about Alpha Arm Omega here that I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, behold, as we summon Alpha. Notice that the blast took out one shielded Metar, but not the other. That's because the missile itself has break element, but the actual radius explosion does not. Yeah, that took me a moment to catch on to. I was getting weird results while I was testing this chip, and I wasn't quite sure at first what was going on. But yeah, anyway, that's Alpha Arm Omega. And of course, White Version gets a different chip for beating Alpha Omega. So let's go have a look at that. So over on White Version, you are instead given Alpha Arm Sigma for your victory over Alpha Omega. So, at first glance, 50 damage, it doesn't seem like too much, but <laughs> you'll see. Yeah, this one hits a lot. So powering it up with things like Attack Plus and Navi Plus chips, this gets devastating in a hurry. Now, unlike Alpha Arm Omega, nothing on this attack has break element, but that's a very small thing to give up for this kind of power and that many hits. Now, there is one curious thing about this chip. It claims to be non-elemental. However, what I was reading about this chip was talking about powering it up by placing an ice stage first, which would make it seem like this is an elect element attack, meaning also you could power it up with the elect plus 40 chips. So, anyone out there want to confirm or deny that in the comments? I'd be interested to hear, because if this really is a like element, that seems kind of a strange oversight. But anyway, with that last Giga Chip demonstrated, we're done! We're finally done! Oh, sweet freedom, we're done! Whew, well, that certainly took longer than expected. But at long last, we've reached the end of Battle Network 3. Toward the end here, I was developing a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one, mainly just due to length. Playing it at my own pace is one thing, but continuously as a project like this, it can admittedly get a bit draining. Battle Network 3 is still one of my favorites in the series, and I did enjoy playing through it again, but yeah, these games, definitely best to enjoy at your own pace. So for those who've been asking if I'm going to do the other Battle Network games, I may in the future, but it's gonna be a long time before I consider doing another. I need a break from the series and some shorter projects to enjoy for a while. There will be a little more Battle Network though coming up next, just a quick peek at Battle Chip Challenge to show what it's about. Definitely not gonna do a full LP of that one though. After that, it's on to Imperishable Night, and past that, well, there are a few possibilities I'm looking into, so we'll see what happens then. So with that, I think it's time to draw this one to a close. My thanks to all my fans and viewers for sticking with me and supporting my work. I hope you all enjoyed the series, and I shall see you again next time with something new. Until then, fare thee well.